Well, it's cold, there's snow everywhere. Some of us might be feeling some dread. So how about we talk about some fun facts with Discord? Yeah? Yeah. Exploding head syndrome. If the name itself doesn't startle you, the symptoms will. Exploding head syndrome is named for the loud, abrasive noise sufferers of the disorder experience just as they're drifting off to sleep. According to the American Sleep Association, the sound is typically described as that of cymbals clashing or a bomb detonating and, at its worst, is accompanied by the shortness of breath and an elevated heart rate. To anybody who suffers from that, I am so, so sorry. Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles were intended to be one game. Proof of this is the fact that all Sonic and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles cartridges were special lock-on cartridges, where you could plug in another cartridge into it specifically intended for Sonic 3. If you plug Sonic 2 into it, you get to play as Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles in Sonic 2. Sonic 1 gives you a special game that is basically extra stages for Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles special stages called Blue Spheres. And Knuckles. The lenticular cloud is a type of cloud that's stationary, forming perpendicular to the direction of the wind. However, due to its appearance, it's often called in as a UFO sighting. Actually, that's camouflage. In the Beatles song, Hey Jude, you can hear John Lennon swear in the background at around 2.57. This was because John actually missed a chord leading him to cuss out of disappointment. I kind of want to go back and listen to that now. Oh, we got a tofu. In Japan, more paper are used to print manga than toilet paper. And Kishimoto, author of Naruto, when he was developing the original Naruto manga, initially had not intended to create Sasuke. After speaking with his editor about the future of the series, he was advised to create a rival for the main character of the series, which resulted in Sasuke's creation. See, even Sasuke was just poorly written in. Having fun can have several positive psychological and physical effects, such as reduced stress, releasing that sweet serotonin, an improved ability to cope, boosted energy, improved memory and concentration, improved connection with others, and best of all, in my opinion, sound or sleep. Thank you, Captain Catbug. Lightsaber crystals are very, very important to a Jedi. They're actually the foci for the Force. Proper placement is also required, as an improper alignment of the crystal can cause the lightsaber to explode in its user's hands. This is mentioned in the old EU, when during a practice duel, Tenoka's lightsaber flickered off mid-duel, and the other duelist, Jack and Solo, accidentally cut her hand off. The arm fell a few feet away, then the lightsaber started to tremble before exploding. Tenelka would remain one-armed for the rest of the old Legends books, and her new lightsaber was made with a Rencor tooth. Cause that's safe. Bananas turn ripe because of a product called ethylene. Is it ethylene, 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 I don't know, somebody will tell me I'm wrong. Ethylene turns bananas from bitter green to happy yellow. Ethylene also doesn't know when to calm the French down. Ethylene decides to try and make the banana more ripe, eventually turning it into the not very tasty brown banana. But when life hands you weird brown bananas, you make banana bread. That's not like a positive spin, that's actually what you do. You take brown bananas and you turn them into banana bread and it's good. Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger were in a movie together where they were twin brothers. That movie being called Twins. This is actually true. I've watched this movie. It is a trip. The theater phrase break a leg is not only a way to avoid the superstition of good luck being bad luck. The phrase originates from older shows in which getting off the stage in a hurry to greet an excited house, actors might quite literally break a curtain leg. So when we say break a leg, we're actually talking about curtain legs, not your actual leg. That's, that's not important at all. And finalists. If you scan a Smash Bros. amiibo when playing the Switch version of Bayonetta 2, the letter from Rodan to Bayonetta will mention her Fight Club and ask to be brought along next time to spar. Come Super Smash Bros. Ultimate! And Rodan is now an assist trophy who will fight and drop a weapon. Bayonetta actually accepted his request and brought him along for the next Smash. Now that's what we call Polish. Well, I'm probably out driving in the real world, but here in the YouTube world, we're doing run facts with Discord! Yeah! Okay.
A lot of modern-day handguns are based off of a gun introduced in 1911, specifically the Colt 1911, which only was replaced in the 1980s by the U.S. Army due to the fact it used .45 ACP instead of the 9mm, due to being in NATO which standardized ammo to simplify supply chains. All of that goes way over my head. I know nothing about guns. There was a group of Russian female fighter pilots in WW2 called the Night Witches, the 588th. They got the name because they commonly flew at night, and according to Axis forces who survived the bombings, they said the plane sounded like brooms in the air. These ladies flew on planes with canvas wings, dropped bombs, and if the bombs didn't detach automatically, they would climb onto the plane wings, detach the bombs by hand, and fly back. For any German troop who managed to shoot down a night witch, they would get a medal. The witches took it as a compliment. Also, did I mention the night witches do not use parachutes either? That's badass. An African gray parrot learned how to use an Amazon Alexa and made a shopping list including poetry, strawberries times three, easy water, jeans, red retreat, big tofu, big times two, and much more. The owners posted a video of Alexa reading the bird's shopping list and it eventually made it onto the news, somewhere. So don't underestimate parrots, they're very smart. And some can outlive most humans. Ominous. The speed of light is not constant. Light, as well as sound and pressure waves, have different travel velocities in different mediums. While light does travel at about 300 million kilometers per hour to reach Earth, it slows down in our atmosphere. Scientific experiments have been able to render light even slower, done to a more manageable speed of below 100 kilometers per hour. Bonus fun fact! Oh, there's a bonus! All the basic measurements in the natural world can be categorized as fractions or functions as the speed of light. This includes time, distance, electrical current, brightness, and most recently, mass and weights. By extension, we are all space dust and cosmically defined by how light travels in a vacuum, aka outer space. Are they saying we're like crystal gems? When you have dreams, you keep them in your head. But as soon as you think, wait, what was that dream I had? That's when you forget your dream little by little. Bonus fact, shower thought, oh boy. When you tell people about your dreams, what you tell them, there's no way you had never told a lie or guessed what happened in a dream since you simply forget it. And when you're sure you remember your dream vividly, there's always something wrong you mess up when telling it that is different in the dream. In the live action How the Grinch Stole Christmas remake, Jim Carrey was reportedly so displeased by the long makeup process that he threatened to quit on day one. It actually took a CIA agent to train him through the makeup process, which took two to three hours total. Christ. At least that got him in like a good grumpy mood for the character. It's considered bad luck to whistle in theater, especially on stage. The reason... Originally, the people hired to run the fly rail that brings down and up larger props or set pieces were sailors. They used whistles in order to communicate cues between themselves while working, and more than a few errant whistlers in those days might have set off unexpected props or set pieces. Just a heads up. So unless you're one of the people who sets up props, don't whistle while you work. Vaccines are just weakened versions of a virus. Our body then fights it, building up antibodies to resist the virus. This is why after receiving a flu shot, you sometimes show symptoms similar to that of the flu. This works because the next time you contract that virus, your body can fight it off faster or completely. This is what happens naturally, except that in a vaccine, it is purposefully weakened and you have a lower chance of death. This is also why when you get chicken pox, you can never get it again. So remember, vaccines are just viruses. They're just viruses. That's it. And ding dang finally, narcissistic and psychopathic people are not as good at manipulating others online as they are in person, research shows, because body language is easy to pick up on in person. Well, this has been your fun facts with Discord, okay, bye. It's a nice, calm, beautiful day. How about we sit back, relax, and look at some fun facts with Discord? What do you say? Cool. Gary Dahl created the pet rock as a joke amongst his friends while they talked about the difficulties of keeping up a house pet. However, the public loved the idea so much that Dahl managed to sell 1.5 million pet rocks in a single year, which allowed Dahl to make off with $15 million in his pocket. Which goes to show you most humans will buy just about anything. When U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt died in his sleep in 1919, the sitting vice president, Thomas R. Marshall, said, Death had to take Roosevelt sleeping. 
for if he had been awake, there would have been a fight. And knowing Theodore Roosevelt, he absolutely would have punched death right in the face. <laughs> the survival game Manhunt is actually banned in New Zealand for its excessive violence. No copies are allowed inside the country, and this goes for the sequel Manhunt 2 as well. And soon there will be a greater threat. Manhunt 3, The Hunter Man. For the Star Wars prequels, Samuel Jackson asked the prop designer for the iconic purple lightsaber. He refused, but ended up giving Samuel the lightsaber anyway. Honestly, I would love to meet the guy who tries to say no to Samuel Jackson. Now I'm imagining that there's an alternative universe where Mace Windu didn't have the purple lightsaber. Like it's pink or yellow. Dogs see fewer colors than humans do. Instead of our colors, our dogs would see dark blue, light blue, gray, light yellow, darker yellow, and very dark gray. Dogs can't see the color red, among other things. I also want to take this moment to bring up that even though humans can see probably over 1 billion colors, there's still some we can't see, but the rainbow shrimp can. In the original DC Comics, Superman could never fly. Sure, he could leap over skyscrapers and was buff as Hades, but it wasn't until the 1940s when animators for cinema cartoons found it easier to draw him flying than drawing his knees bending over and over. After that, he gained one more power. I kind of want to go back to the Superman that could only just jump really high. I think he has too many powers going for him right now. Especially when he is such a vanilla character. He's like DC Goku. In My Hero Academia, or Boku no Hero Academia, the characters Suyu, Hagakore, and Hatsume were originally going to be male. Horikoshi, the author of Boku no Hero Academia, changed them to female because he thought there was a lack of female characters in the manga. And bonus fact, the character Bakugo Katsuki was originally not going to be a huge jerk. He was just going to be a character that didn't think before speaking, so it was unintentional when he hurt someone verbally. So he was going to be an accidental penis instead of an actual penis, but he's still a penis because he's Bakugo. The Flying Tigers of the United Air Force, although not really part of the US military at all, made dramatic escapes. Only three American volunteer group pilots are known to have been captured in action. Arnold Shamblin is believed to have bailed out of his plane but never came back and is presumed to have been killed by his captors. Lou Bishop and William Mac McGarry both became prisoners and then escaped. Bishop, who had been picked up by the Vichy French in Vietnam, was eventually turned over to the Japanese. Amazingly, he broke out of a prison train headed from Shanghai to Manchuria one night in early 1945. He managed to work himself free from his leg restraints in the dark without his captors noticing. While his train moved across the open country, he just stood up, hopped over the side of the car, and rolled into a gully. Shots were fired, but the engine did not stop. Bishop eventually made contact with an English-speaking Chinese man who was connected to the underground resistance and was smuggled to safety. Captured by Thai police after being down over northern Thailand, Mac McGarry was handed over to the Japanese for interrogation. But when they were finished with him, they handed him back. The Thai authorities then jailed him in Bangkok. Enlisting the aid of an inside man, the U.S. Office of Strategic Services forged a death certificate so that McGarry could be successfully spirited out of the prison and out of the country in a coffin. Where is that movie? The state of Ohio has a lot of weird laws. Some examples are of, in Canton, if one loses their pet tiger, they must notify the authorities within one hour. Also in McDonald, your duck may not be paraded down Ohio Avenue. And a final one being that in Toledo, it is illegal to throw your snake at anybody. What am I supposed to do with my emergency pocket snake then? I'm getting you mugged in Toledo, Ohio. A pizza box is able to make a stand for itself if you want it a couple inches higher off the ground, or if you're eating on an especially heat sensitive surface. But why would you? This fun fact was brought to you by the useless life hack community, keeping your life nice and convenient since 2013. Empathy is an automatic response. You cannot stop yourself from feeling sad if you see a sad person. That works too if you see someone laughing. But why does that happen? We have some cells in our bodies called mirror cells. These cells are the cause of phantom pain, ASMR response, and that feeling of hunger when you see an ad for food. It must be something though that mirror cells are different for everybody because I'm sure some non-empathetic people can still get triggered by an ASMR response. Uh, that's, I think there's more to that fact that needs to be said. The original Five Nights at Freddy's didn't include Foxy the Pirate Fox, but instead Chipper the Mexican Beaver. Okay. Creator Scott Cawthon changed it last minute because of a drawing his son made. It, of course, was a pirate fox. That sounds way better. Scientists are learning to use crows and ravens to clean up cigarettes from parks and beaches. They built an invention that when a cigarette is placed inside it, it will dispense some bird food. This is actually working very well and might be implemented in cities and parks. 
So we might save ourselves by birds getting the hungries. I always knew the crows and ravens would save us. But that was just a matter of opinion. <laughs> and finally, the mimic octopus mimics venomous and dangerous animals in the ocean to war off predators by changing color, shape, and movement. This is already cool, but scientists have noticed that there are a few different forms that we have no clue what they're mimicking. Not only that, but fish who see these rare unknown forms are terrified of them. So in conclusion, this is why I'm afraid of what's in the ocean. Someone go back in time and tell them that Otto von Bismarck is afraid of the ocean. So we're trying to get the booth set up here still. It's uh, a lot harder than I expected, and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging like three days without a video, so I plugged in the equipment, and we're going to do one quick fun fact with Discord. So here we go. Despite persisting rumors, the cat that appears on the wall of a cabin on the ice form of Pokemon Stadium 2 in Super Smash Brothers Brawl is not series creator Masahiro Sakurai's. It's simply an easter egg placed in by the developers. So can we just appreciate there's a cat in Brawl, please? The Caucasian Shepherd Dogs are a breed of dog bred for hunting and killing Russian bears. Adult males can weigh up to 200 pounds and are, as the internet likes to call it, an absolute unit. Look at that big old boofer. I wanna hug him. When you search up the smallest country in the world, you'll mostly end up with Vatican City, when in actuality, that title belongs to Sealand. Sealand is an old British naval fort made during WW2 that was conquered by pirates. How the fort became its own country was when Patty Roy Bates was planning to use the fort as a pirate radio broadcasting network. Even though he had most of the equipment to do so, he never started the radio. He alone declared independence on September 2nd, 1967, and the British just let him because they didn't care about small fort. So if you ever feel like you're a little crazy, just remember, there is one lone man who has an entire country by himself, and because the British let him because they didn't care. Most alchemists are pretty nuts. Astronomers and doctors too. Honestly, just most of early modern scientists. For example, the famous theologist, astronomer, and alchemist Tycho... Tycho? Tycho... That guy. Bray owned an elk which died on a party. It got so drunk it fell down some stairs. He also paid a dwarf to perform tricks at his court and believed he could tell the future. Even more bizarre was Edward Kelly, an English alchemist that ran a lot of fraud schemes on some pretty important folks. The best part is, after being imprisoned, Kelly tried to escape. He did the whole rope out of the window thing and broke his leg, so they moved him to a safer castle. However, he did the exact same thing and broke his other leg, after the first one had to be amputated. That explains the dad and full metal alchemist. The world's littlest skyscraper scam committed on Wichita Falls, Texas. The designers said the building would be 480 in height. Investors assumed it was 480 feet, not 480 inches, and soon realized they invested $200,000 in a four-story building. They lost in court, and the builder kept the money. And that's why you always, always double-check what you sign. Many animal noises are known. Cow, dog, cat, pig, etc. But one commonly known animal, the fox, is excluded from this group. The fox makes various noises such as squeaks, squeals, screams, goat screams, not even kidding, and partial barks. And I believe sometimes it goes fire. In 1946, a South African child who dreamed of being a scientist wrote a letter to Albert Einstein, and then they became pen pals. A few letters later, she said she regretted being a girl, apologizing for not telling him, and hoped he wouldn't think any less of her. He replied right away saying, I do not mind that you're a girl, but the main thing is that you yourself do not mind. There is no reason for it. And that's why Einstein was a cool dude. On the subject of brilliant people, apparently Benjamin Franklin was something of a prankster. When he had guests over at his house, keep in mind this was kind of early days of electrical usage, he had a picture of King George II that he wired electricity into so that if anyone touched the crown of the king, they'd receive a high treason charge of electricity. I wonder how many people he injured with that stupid prank. Lemons, limes, oranges, and grapefruits are all hybrids. There are three naturally occurring citrus fruits, pomelo, mandarin, and citron. Grapefruits are a hybrid of a kind of a sweet orange, who is also a hybrid, and a pomelo. Lemons are a hybrid of a bitter orange and citron. Limes consist of many hybrids, so its roots are unknown. Finally, oranges are a hybrid of pomelo and a mandarin. Boom. Now you know things. So does that make... 
slime may just fruit punch. The hairy frog is known to be so aggressive that it will break its own bones, force them through its skin, and attack whatever the heck it wants. It will even attack humans unprovoked. Because of this, the frog has earned the nickname Wolverine Frog. If you listen carefully, you can hear it go, Bub.